Hi, my name is Paul Baines. I'm Professor of Political Marketing at Cranfield University and co-author of Marketing by Oxford University Press. In this next sequence, we talk to Abdurrahman Al-Maimani, the General Manager at Alderac Water Company in Medina, Saudi Arabia. And in this sequence, Abdurrahman talks about the difficulties the company was facing in competing against the big boys like Nestle and PepsiCo. My name is Abdurrahman al Maimani. I work for a company called Adorag Water Bottling Plant. It's a member of a Maimani group, which is owned by my family. My role is the general manager of Adorag Water. Our customers are mostly supermarkets, medium and small store, with the distribution channels direct to the customers. Also, we have uh, uh, some of our customers are restaurants, fast food chains, uh, catering's company, hospitals, and household. Uh, we produce uh, bottled water from the whole city of Medina, and that's coming in a container from starting from 250 ml all the way up to 19 liters. And we get the 200 ml in the plastic cups, and then we get the 375 ml, and then we have the 600 ml, and we have the two liter, the one gallon, the five liter, the five gallon, and starting from uh, May of 2016, we're gonna have our two new products, the 300 ml and the 1.5 liter. Uh, most of the supermarket, when they start to make the decision, they make the decision who to how to get the cheapest water, so they can get more profits when they sell it as an individual to the customers. For example, when they buy the 40 uh, containers uh, box from us, they get it for 12 reals, and when they sell it, they sell it for 20 reals. So they look where they can get the more profit margin from different companies. If I'm selling at 12 and the other one selling at 13, they will get from me because the profit margin is larger than the other one. It's mostly about profit, how much they're going to make. A customer usually make their decision in who they buy from based on a few things. The first one is the price, mostly. The second, about the services they're getting. Also about getting some of the customers try to get a local product, local products, and some of the customers they just want to get something that been used to for a few year, for many years. Since we have been in the business for 20, 20 years, most of our customers just being used to get our product. They are not willing to change, and uh, some of the customers start making their decision. Starting, we see it starting from the beginning of this year, is because we start delivering for 24 hours. Because some of our customers are hospitals and catering companies and they want the product to be available for 24 hours. So we give the chance to deliver to any customer for 24 hours. And that just make a very big change in our market. Okay, so the competitive nature in our market started a few years ago when the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia allowed international businesses to start uh, having a product produced in Saudi Arabia. When we first started in 1994, we were the only water factory in Medina. And over the year, more than five to six uh, new businesses started in Medina for water bottling. Also, Today, is we have more than 30 companies distributing their products to the city of Medina. Uh, some of them are the big names, including Aquafina, including Nestle, including Arwa, which is manufactured by Coca-Cola, and also uh, Birie, Berian, the one from Turkey. And that just makes it very crazy in the market to compete with. Aldoragin is facing a problem competing with international names and big companies like Nestle, Aquafina, and Arrow, which is manufactured by Coca-Cola. Those companies have one of the biggest supply chain in the world. And because, for example, Pepsi is supplying all, most of the soft drinks to the supermarket, 
they try to push their product by telling the supermarket, if you want to get our product, you have to get the water from us. And in the beginning, they give it as a free sample to the supermarket. And if you start giving free, everyone will get it from you. And then they start pushing it, said, if you need to get the Pepsi, you have to get the water also from us. Coca-Cola, a year later, when they start having their water product, they did the same. And they pushed everyone button by saying, if you wanted to get the Coca-Cola in your supermarket, you have to get the water from us. And that just took a big, a big, a big margin of our uh, customers because of the trick they did in the market. And that was the hardest thing to compete with. I'm solving this problem by doing a few things. First of all, I'm focusing on the household and driving the water all the way to, the wall, to, the, to their doors. I'm giving uh, them a 24 hour services. Also, I'm giving a special discount to religious places and charities, for example, mosque. Also, I'm, uh, I had a campaign, awareness campaign about the local, uh, uh, about supporting the local products. And um, because I'm focusing on the city of Medina, and because I'm doing very good right now, I'm expanding in the Western region only. Speaking about our competitor, Nestle is expanding very big in the whole kingdom, not just only in the Western part. So they are responding to us by opening a new market that is going to be uh, a little bit difficult for us to go in because of the transporting price. I'm competing with big names uh, with a contract of supply chain partnership, including some of the water uh, factories in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. For example, I have a partnership with uh, a factory in Riyadh and another one in Jeddah. And we exchange customers in order to reduce the cost. For example, if I have a contract in Riyadh to supply a water to the hospital, I call the factory in Riyadh to supply the water for them instead of me having to carry it all the way from Medina to Riyadh. And in return, he do the same with me when he have a customer in Medina or near the city of Medina. The future for Dora Water is that we are applying to expand our production capacity by double. Also, we are expanding on the delivery trucks for household from eight trucks to 10 trucks by the end of 2016. And for the local distribution channel, we're expanding our delivery truck from 60 to 100 by the 2017. The future for Dora Water is very bright for us.